Hi everyone, it's me. I want to talk about dogs. <laughs> and I'm not talking about people, I'm talking about animals. And just want to talk about the animals that I now currently live with and have been adopted by. <laughs> they basically adopted me when I met my guy about a year ago in April. He had two dogs and they slept with him on a queen size bed and the bed is what I consider to be about a hundred years old. And he's, he would he would disagree. He'd say it's about 95 years old. But either way, we can agree to disagree. The bed sunk in the middle. The dog slept with him. And I'm 6'1", he's 6'2". We all didn't fit in the bed. So he had to train the dogs to sleep outside of the bedroom. We have comfortable couches and furniture that, you know. So it took a couple of days and one bark collar and it was, we were good to go. So then we had we actually had to purchase a king size bed so we could have our own space and be comfortable. And so the reason, one of the reasons I chose to spend the rest of my life with this husband is because he understands the importance of discipline when it comes to children and animals. And discipline makes for a more positive and just a more positive environment for not just me, but for my husband, his son, the dogs, our guests, family members, people that come over. It's just better. So I just want to show you <laughs> how, how grateful I am to live with this guy and what I, yeah, I'll just show you what we do. Luna Bolt, come. Sit. Wait. Sit. Wait. Good job. So as you can see, when I call them, I, they're, they're motivated by treats because they love treats. And I get them, you know, just different varieties. But this, the fact is, is that because I, I chose my husband because he understands the importance of respect. Respect in your home, respect by, you know, your family members, your children, your whatever the case is. Discipline goes a long way, makes for a happier environment for you, for your animal. It shows them who the pack leader is, and it allows them the opportunity to settle down and just take a step back and stop doing anything you need them to stop doing. We also have um, electronic collars for them. Electronic collars allows you the opportunity to change the ampage from a 1 to a 10. But also, it gives. there's a button on the side where it gives a little beep, and that's the warning sign. Now, my husband said he tried the shock collar on himself, and it's a shock. It's kind of shocking. It's not necessarily painful. It's an annoyance, and it's. it gives, it kind of surprises the dog. So I don't agree with using it to, to bring harm to your animal or, or to be cruel to them. Our shock collars, when, well, we have them on, if they run out and let's say we're at the park and our dogs are in the midst of a scuffle or they're around other dogs that are fairly aggressive or whatever, I can beep and I can get my dog out of the situation. The beep, the warning sign, will allow you to get your dog to stop. And if they don't stop, you can send them a little shock to get to let them know, hey, enough is enough, come back. I'm serious. It, it just, to me, when utilized properly, can be a very effective tool and can allow you to manage a situation. That's, you know, I had surgery, you know, on my wrist, so I am not able to, I wasn't able to use a leash and in our area where we live we have a you know a fairly nice sized property and yard and it's it's such a small area of of homes that a lot of the dogs kind of wander around and say hi to one another and we don't worry about major traffic here so it's not like our dogs are going to run out into the traffic but we do have cars that go back you know forth to their homes so we just want to make sure they know the boundaries and they know their limitations. And most important, it's to keep them safe. Uh, we have deer that run through. If our dogs start taking off after the deer, we beep them, they come back. 
and we don't want them kicked or stomped on. I mean, there's just there's just a lot of reasons, not if, just if you live out in rural areas, but also especially in the city, you want to make sure that your dog is coming back to you and, and within distance. So follow the laws in your, you know, in your community, whether it's a leash law, et cetera. And, uh, you know, disciplined dogs are happy dogs. They want a pack leader. They want someone to lead them. They want to please you. Their whole job in life is to please you. So that's all there is to it. Just wanted to show you. I just, I hope it helps. The main reason, like I said, I, I chose to be with my guy, not just because I love him, because but because he he maintains his home and he makes sure that our home is a peaceful, quiet, and happy place for everyone who lives here. So I hope you're having a great day and we'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye.